Hey guys, so I'm back with um, a lot of things in store, and um, that's why we've. Uh, that's why I've been doing a lot of like you know interesting things. Like I've been preparing a lot of videos for you guys, um, like this one and this one. So you guys might have heard on my YouTube channel in the last video, I commented very recently saying, guys, something new is coming. Coming. And then I put a galaxy emoji on there. So this is the phone, the new phone that some of you guys have learned about. Um, some of you guys don't know about. It's called the Samsung Galaxy J6 Plus. So this is my review on the Samsung Galaxy J6 Plus. So this is the phone that I decided to choose. And I paid $250 for this phone and A little bit disappointed. So let's talk about the design. This whole phone is made out of plastic and even though on the back it doesn't look like plastic that's also made out of plastic too. The back looks like glass uh, but the sides definitely look and feel a lot like plastic. On the design point there's a side mounted fingerprint scanner, a front facing speaker, and also a headphone jack at the bottom and micro USB. Now, I'm fine with micro USB because, well, most of our devices in the house have micro USB. Not all of them, because like, most of our family uses iPhone anyway. So I really wasn't all that bad about it. Then there's also the dual lens camera, as well found on the back with an LED flash, and an LED flash at the front, which doesn't make a lot of sense, and also a little tiny speaker for calls. And a front facing camera as well. Speaking more about the design, it has an 18 by 9 aspect display, which is kind of, it's a first for me, it's not a first for others. But yeah, this is, it's an 18 by 9 and it's also an LCD display. At first, I didn't even know that it was an LCD, I thought it was an AMOLED. But I was wrong when I looked at the specs because it's actually an LCD panel. And I paid $250 and I'm like, whatever. Until I realized after I paid for this phone. Then there's also the processor. It's a Samsung, look, I'm not gonna tell you about processors, but it does feel fast for the most part. Although I do feel like that it's a little bit slow and buggy, which kind of annoys me because I come from a phone that even from two years later, still works really well. And then I, well, I mean, I played a game, uh, like I played this kind of 3D intense game. Uh, it was a space online game, Space Armada. And uh, it, it was played online, but it, it worked pretty well. Although I played Marvel uh, Contest of Champions and it told me, wow, your processor is not that great. We're gonna have to drop frame rates. And I definitely kind of noticed it, but it didn't really exactly bother me. I mean, on one hand though, it won't exactly bother- like, performance on this phone won't always bother you. Like, it will just be like, you know, it feels pretty snappy, I mean, some things do take a bit of time to load. But I mean, like, it's fine. When you watch stuff on this, it's an absolute pleasure and joy, but, um, and I mean, it's absolutely great because I have this case and it utilizes that front facing that side-mounted speaker. And it's just a lot more better anyway. But one thing is, is that it, it really, I think I miss the dual, dual front facing speakers though. Because like, sure, the side mounted one is fantastic, but it's not that great. And the fingerprint scanner on the side, by the way, isn't that great either. Oh well. And then there's the cameras. We, I gotta talk about the cameras. Because I paid $250, well, look, Here's what you get for $250. You get a 16 megapixel camera right here and a 2 megapixel second variant lens. And at the front you get a 5 megapixel selfie camera. Now I thought that secondary camera was absolutely useless when I took a portrait shot. But once I put my finger over it, it said, Hey, you're blocking the camera. And I thought, huh. So it does use that secondary camera. I thought they were just lying. And I honestly feel like though that it's a bit of wasted space. I'd rather prefer if this could just be a wide-angle camera, not a secondary telephoto lens. And speaking of, it doesn't even use for a telephoto lens. Then there's the details. 
on this camera. And because it shoots at 60 megapixels, I thought it was gonna be good. No, it wasn't even close to good. Like, it looks really, colors looked washed out. And if you zoom up on some photos, it looked like it's an oil painting and not in a good way. So I'm like, dude, the selfie camera's fine and you also get like AR emoji sort of things, not exactly emojis, but you get this fun emoji thing and it's cool. It's a fun feature to show to your friends, but it's not that interesting. And I really wish that it wasn't on there. So cameras and probably processor has also been really terrible for me. Oh, and another thing. I dropped this phone in water that still works. I'm saying that because on my Nexus 6P review, redo, review, also says them as well. Battery life is stupendously amazing, even though it's a 3,300 million for battery. I've been able to get two days out of this phone. Two days! This one can't even last one. Google, did you lie to me? Oh, about battery life? Yeah. So other than that, uh, there's also the speaker quality. It's also pretty good. Uh, I've been able to hear the person clear uh, on the other end. Um, but I do wish that because of WhatsApp, I wish that it wouldn't always cut up so much. So that's the whole phone. So this is a good budget phone. It's a good budget phone. But how much I pay for it annoys me. $250, and I expected a lot more. That's why the new Samsung Galaxy A series is a lot more effective and better for that part. But this phone doesn't even deliver on either, which is just embarrassing, just like my stomach right there. But it's just like, come on, $250? For $250, you can get yourself an LG V30, V30 phone. You can get, possibly, you can find a good OnePlus phone. You can get a, I mean, an older OnePlus phone. You can't always get a newer one. And you can also get um, the, the new Galaxy A series. For example, the Samsung Galaxy A50 is so worth it triple lens cameras and plus the new cameras on the A series are actually good compared to this and that like they produce good rich colors and details they also just look phenomenally a lot more better so I just wish for how much I paid for this phone I just wish it was better so anyway thank you for watching and you guys will get to see a new video next week.